guys, my name is Krina and welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button because it's free of cost for you, but it means a lot to me. And today's video will be a little different because I will be cooking a lot and I'm making three different recipes. And honestly speaking, during quarantine, I've learned so many new things. All of us are stuck at home and the best thing to do is cook. So I have been making quite a few different things uh, in the past two months. But the top three recipes that I absolutely love are what I'm going to show you today. So the first one is a vegetarian burger. And if you guys know, I absolutely love the Mac veggie burger at McDonald's and that's something you only get in India. In Toronto, it's been so hard for me to find a good vegetarian burger, so I just had to make it. The second recipe is a vegetable stir-fried rice with tofu. And the third recipe is Mexican food, so I'm going to show you how I make my beans and my guacamole. And besides that, you can literally make um, nachos, tacos, quesadillas, anything you like. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So the main thing in a burger is the patty. I absolutely love the potato one. And for that, the first thing you'll need is potatoes. So I have already boiled the potatoes here and I have my veggies here, which also I have boiled. First off, I'm gonna take a big vessel like this and I'm gonna put the potatoes in that and I'm gonna be mashing it with a masher. So once the potatoes are mashed, I'm going to add the boiled vegetables to this and I'm going to mash it very lightly. So I'm done mixing all the vegetables and the potatoes together, but the consistency of the mixture is a little watery and in order to make it normal, I'm going to add some breadcrumbs so that it can absorb all the water. This is going to make the mixture a little thicker again so that it's not too watery since we need to shallow fry this after a few minutes. It's time to get our hands dirty. The mixture is ready and now I'm just gonna make a few patties and shallow fry that. So I've made seven patties in total and I've prepped everything else for the burger as well. So the buns are ready and I have shredded cheese and I have some sliced tomatoes and lettuce for the burger. And as for the onions, I have sliced them but I'm gonna caramelize them on the stove top as well. So right now I'm gonna shallow fry the patties, um, caramelize the onions and heat up the buns. the hard part is done and now it's time to stack the burger I have even watched Gordon Ramsay's way of stacking a burger but honestly you can just do it the way you want so like you had seen earlier I have already put the cheese on the top bun and it melts a little so it's good and now I'm gonna start off with the jalapeno lime aioli on the base of the bread now I'm gonna add some lettuce Oh, I forgot jalapenos. Okay, so I just cut it into a few pieces. I'm gonna add that. Now I'm gonna add the sliced tomatoes on top of that. On top of the tomato, I'm gonna add a little bit of mustard. Then I'm gonna place the patty on top of that. Then goes the caramelized onions. And lastly, some ketchup. Then you just close the bun. And that's it! The burger is ready! I'm not sure if this looks like the best burger in the world, but honestly it tastes so good. It's one of my favorite things that I make. It's so good. I'm going to eat this first and then I'm going to shoot the second recipe. That burger was so good and honestly this next recipe is going to be really good as well. 
So I'm making vegetable stir fried rice with tofu and for that all you need is some vegetables. I have this frozen pack from Costco. It has broccoli, carrots, peas, peppers, mushrooms and a lot more other things. And I have already cooked the rice this morning so I have that here as well. As for tofu, I have this pack. I bought it from Walmart. And I'm just gonna open this first because you have to cook the tofu first and marinate that. So I've cut half inch pieces of tofu and now I'm going to put it in the oven for it to bake for 10 to 15 minutes. So while the tofu is getting done in the oven, I'm going to make a sauce to marinate it. I'm going to start off by adding some soy sauce. Then I'm going to add some sriracha, a little bit of vinegar, some chili flakes, black pepper, just the pepper, not the cap and a little bit of peanut butter. I just mixed this sauce and it looks really good. This is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna remove the tofu from the oven and put it into this. All the pieces of tofu are covered in the sauce that I just made. And now we're just gonna head on over to the stove to cook everything in the wok. oil to the pan and then I added some onion, garlic and ginger to that. Once the onions got a little translucent, I added all the veggies to that. I added all the sauces so that the veggies can absorb as much as it can. I added the rice to the container that I made the sauce in and now I'm going to add this to the wok along with tofu and I'm gonna mix it all up. And that's it, I've done making the vegetable stir fried rice with tofu and once this cools down, I'm gonna put this in the fridge and this is gonna be our lunch tomorrow afternoon. So now let's move on to the last recipe in this video. So the last thing that we'll be making is some Mexican food and the two main things that you actually need to make is guacamole and beans. So first I'm gonna show you how to make some guac. All you'll need is a really good avocado, like it has to be ripe. You just have to twist it and separate the two halves. So now I'm just gonna take a spoon and scoop out the avocado. So now you just have to take a fork and mash the avocado. It can be a little chunky if that's how you like it, but once that's done, you can add the diced onions and tomatoes to this. Apart from avocado, my second favorite ingredient in guacamole is lime. Um, just make sure you add a lot of it and it just it's that's honestly the key ingredient. It's gonna taste so good. Once you've added the lime, add some chili flakes. And then add some salt. And that's it. That's all you have to do in order to make guacamole. As you guys noticed, it's so easy to make. It's very simple and it tastes so good. The next thing that we're gonna make is beans. In order to make the beans, first what I've done is I soaked some rajma or kidney beans overnight and I put it in a pressure cooker for 20 minutes and basically they're all good to go. Um, you'll know if they're good when you can squish them like that. So I'm gonna add all the beans to the blender. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of water so that um, it has a little bit of liquidy consistency. So that's it, the beans are done and that's what the consistency should look like. It should not be too runny. So what you'll need to do now is to crush some onions and tomatoes in the blender again to make a puree. I have cut up some onions here. So I'm just adding the onions first. And as for tomatoes, I already have a tomato puree that I had made a few days ago. So I'm just gonna use this. So right now I'm just gonna blend the tomatoes. Okay, so this is it. You need the tomato and onion puree. You need the crushed beans. 
And another thing that you will need is some taco seasoning. So the one that I use is by Old El Paso Taco. So yeah, now we're just gonna head on over to the stove and we'll cook all of this together. Add the taco seasoning mix and a little bit of salt and you're good to go. So once again, the tough part is done. Now all we have to do is put everything together. So the beans are done. I have put it in this container here. So for my tacos, I have this one called uh, Street Tacos by Don Cancho. You can honestly use any tortilla bread that you want. But these I thought were super cute because they're that tiny. And I'm just gonna put this in the toaster. The tacos are really nice and warm. And now I'm gonna start by adding the beans on top of that. Now I'll add a little bit of salsa. I love the Tostitos one. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this. I have cut up some lettuce here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that. Now I'm gonna add some guacamole. Honestly, I'm so excited to eat this right now. Now I'm gonna add some sour cream. Just gonna add a little bit of that on top. I'm gonna top it off with some cheddar cheese. And lastly, I'm gonna add some Cholula sauce. This is my favorite hot sauce in the world. Honestly, if there was something that I could replace water with, it would be this. And honestly, this is it. Like, my tacos are done. The only thing that took time was the guacamole and the beans. But honestly, I have made so much that I'm gonna freeze this. It's really good even if you freeze it. I'm gonna use this over the next two weeks. As for guacamole, I do not recommend you make a lot of it because this will oxidize and become a little dark in color and I don't know if that's good, but just make it as and when you need it. And like you saw, it was super easy to make, so that's fine. So this is it. This is what the tacos look like. And honestly, they look so good. I can't wait to try this. If you guys do try any of these recipes out, please tag me on Instagram or comment down below under this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I'll be back with more videos very soon. Until next time, take care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.